So just a few um, high level about the consequences to us of leading so that we realize the, the seriousness to ourselves and to the organization from from be deceiving ourselves and, and pretending that things are okay than when they actually aren't. And, and so it, it means that the fear our talents and abilities aren't good enough for us to appropriately value Um, you know, what it does is it causes us to not ask for fair market value and treatment when we're negotiating for ourselves and our salary. And we've seen this with, with some of our clients where, where the people in the prostitute are the first to be taken advantage of because they, they will keep trying to prove themselves long after they have already proven themselves that they keep themselves in that perpetual. I'm only as good as my last movie as it <laughs> in the, in the um, movie industry that, that that their talents aren't concrete, that their experience doesn't have value, and they have to win other people over. Um, it it also means that we neglect and de- deprioritize our goals, development, and potential. That we focus on developing others, we focus on everybody else meeting their expectations and goals. Um, we see everyone else's issues as a reason to drop everything we're doing to help them. We end up, you know, saying yes to deadlines, working weekends when everybody else is off enjoying themselves. And of course, the the overall compensating for the inadequacies of our boss, our employees and peers, as I said earlier, giving credit for work that we have actually done. And then have, having the consequence of that be that other people are promoted ahead of us. I- 